but you've been talking to the higher education minister. What did Simon Harris have to say? Look, that Simon Harris, not surprised, as many of us weren't surprised by the footage which uh, uh, floated on social media last night, uh, showing dozens and dozens of people uh, queuing effectively round the block uh, to get in for a rental viewing for a property in North Dublin. Uh, the footage captured last night shared uh, thousands of times across social media and really speaking to a problem which has been uh, escalating, particularly around Dublin, as well as Cork and Galway City's main urban centres uh, in recent times. So uh, these sort of scenes not uh, entirely alien to anyone who's been living in Dublin uh, for the last number of years. But Simon Harris pointing out that there is a real uh, squeeze around student accommodation as term time resumes uh, over the coming weeks. Uh, there has been a real problem in terms of students securing accommodation for term time. As well as that, there has been, of course, the issue where a number of Ukrainian refugees have been uh, accommodated in student accommodation over the summer months, some of them will now be moving uh, out of that. And that is real, uh, uh, adding a crunch in terms of the Ukrainian accommodation situation too. Uh, Simon Harris says many uh, schemes are underway to try and improve the situation with regards to student accommodation, uh, but some of it will not be fixed uh, for the return of term time. Well, I have seen the video and I, I you know, regularly see things on social media and there is absolutely no doubt that there's a real housing supply issue and government is working through housing for all to increase housing supply. We also though, have to be very truthful. Students, some students in Ireland rely on student accommodation, about 18% of students. Um, some students reside at home um, during their student life. Many people in my own hometown are fortunate enough to live within a commutable distance and for others that's not the case. And for others they have long distances, it's not practical to commute and therefore they're renting in many cases in the private market. What I have to do is really two things. I have to do everything we possibly can now to increase capacity now. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing with the rental room scheme. I think it's an attractive scheme for a homeowner who has a spare room who can, rent, who can earn up to 14 grand a year without paying a cent in tax or keep their social welfare benefits. Simon Harris there. Uh boosting really the digs accommodation option in terms of student accommodation. He does say uh, more campuses need to provide uh, their own accommodation with the support uh, of government funding. Uh, but the rental situation, private rental situation, does remain a, re a, a real squeeze, particularly, as I say, around urban areas. Just looking on daft.ie as we speak, uh, 793 uh, rental accommodation uh, properties are around the entirety of the state. Uh, that really not enough in comparison to this time last year when it was about uh, 2,400, Colette. All right, Richard, thank you for that.